You want to win in relationships. You don't want any more drama in your relationships. And I want to do the best I can as a um, as a counselor and as a as a coach. Um, for over 15 years, I've been helping people um, in relationships. I want to do the best I can to help you land it right. So, um, a lot of women will, will make a list of things and desire things, and even some of them will even pray for things that they want in a particular man, right? Without doing any self exploration, self examination, or any self reflection. What's most important, what you find when you do that, you actually find yourself on this journey um, seeking, seeking that kind of man. And, um, and you find yourself in relationship after relationship looking for a particular man. You think you got him, and within a few days, you realize that, you know what, this is not really the man I was looking for, right? So I want to kill all that in your life. I want to get rid of all of that, and I want you to get serious about yourself, man. I want you to get serious about yourself, and I want you to start thinking about yourself uh, with great value, right? Because once you start making a list about the the kind of wife you want to be rather than the kind of husband you're looking for, it gives you the opportunity to see what you've got in your bag, you know? And I'm not just tripping on whether you got hot sauce in your bag, really, if I'm not eating anything that needs hot sauce, then I really don't want it. So um, you, you really, in reality, you gotta get beyond the drama of, of life and just really get to the place where you start taking yourself serious because of your value. So you got to know what you've got in your bag. What type of wife do I want to be? It'll be real interesting to see what you have on your list about what type of wife you want to be. And secondly, what type of woman I am. Now, if the type of wife you want to be doesn't match the type of woman you are right now, then you're always going to attract the wrong kinds of guys. You want to make sure that whatever type of wife you desire, that's goal, that's aspiration, that's the type of wife you want to be. Um, you want to make sure that those desires, those future goals, those future desires, they match the type of woman you are right now. So you want to make sure that there's a correlation between the wife you want to be and the woman you are right now. Now, number two, and then I'm, I'm going to be done. The, the reason that is, is because your life ultimately at the end of the day is based upon value. And guys like to go shopping and you shouldn't be the one shopping for a man because that's, that's the nature of manhood. Men seek out women. Uh, your life is really all about positioning, getting yourself prepared and positioned um, so that the right guy can find you, right? So th the essence of your life, the advantage of your life is that you get to spend a lot of your time just focusing on you and just doing you and just believing in you and going back in some of the most important relationships in your life because the woman you are is actually correlated to the little girl you used to be. And she had hopes and she had dreams and she had aspirations. And as a woman, you should be desiring to make a lot of those dreams come true so that she's not waiting for someone to come and make those things happen. Because as a grown woman, there are things that you can do now that she couldn't do as a little girl. So it's time for you in reality to start thinking about redeeming the value of your own life. You're valuable. You know, the Bible says, um, who can find a virtuous woman? My question for you is, can you find her? She's got to come out of hiding. You've got to get comfortable with yourself and find this woman of great value and great virtue.